No, 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 this video isn't for you. No, it's an unboxing video. I need to add the subtitles and I don't need your help. Oh no, this can't be good. Welcome to another unboxing, this time for The Living Dead Dolls Presents The Shining Talking Grady Twins. As you can see, there are two sets. That's because I had these, they were used, um, they've just kind of been sitting on my desk. And then I got this because I want to create a certain scene that I have in mind, but it requires these ones getting bloodied. But I really like these dolls, so I would like a non-bloodied version. This one, it said it was new on eBay, but it was kind of weird because it was cheaper than what they have on Mesco Toys. Um, in Mesco Toys, it was, I think it said join waitlist. I don't think it said sold out yet, but this was cheaper, so I just like went with it, whatever. And the reason that I was so interested in the dolls, actually, I was looking up a video for another talking doll. I just wanted to hear what she said, and the video, it either wasn't loading on the Mesco Toy site. And then, of course, because these are talking dolls, they came up, and I noticed they were infinitely cuter than the prototype. And I was kind of obsessing about them. So anyway, I have them. Yeah, so the biggest difference are the eyes. You can see here, this is what their eyes look like. They have great detail and they look different than the prototype which is the image that they still have on the box focus um they're just not as bright not as much red they look a lot deader <laughs> which technically they are but i think they're cuter another difference oh no yeah here it is is that you know the prototype the dress colors match the actual movie with the pink and white, whereas the final version is just white, white and blue. The flower isn't pink. So, yeah, I think they look creepier. Actually, I hate their eyes in the prototype. They're just a lot more detailed in the final version. So, the box is really great. This great bright color. And of course, you know, Living Dead Dolls presents The Shining with some blood marks. And it's the same image on both sides. Here's the back, and you can press the button to have them talk. So they only say three phrases, and it's interesting that the hole is only on one doll, so I'm kind of interested to see if the button is on both dolls because uh -huh. I'm dropping your sisters because both of these have the sound button they say the same exact thing and they don't play off each other but it was funny because I thought it was only on one and it was actually recently while filming the um, their video where they're the stars that I noticed they both have the sound button on the back and I have no idea how I never noticed that so because <laughs> mostly I keep them off you can turn it off because I film, I tend to film late at night and just didn't want to accidentally press them. Yeah. So here's the top and here they are, the great window box for those who don't want to open them. I've already cut the tape so they should come out easily and hopefully this video won't be as long as the others since there's a million videos for these dolls since they're so new. Open it up, it looks just like that. gray color inside. I forgot that I also had this for the other dolls. And this just shows you how to replace the battery and I'm holding it upside down so we'll flip it over. You know just how to replace it. Here they are. Open, open. Oh it's taped down. Of course you are. Of course you're taped four different spots. I'd be interested to know if the flowers fall off easily because they keep sliding off the ones I have. So 
and here they are. And they should just pop out. And both dolls come with this protective cover. <laughs> you can breathe again. Kind of looks like that this would, it seems to be a little bit more in place. And their hair is very thinly rooted. You might see it in the other video, but you, it's it's not thick at all. And it's kind of a little annoying because you can see through it. it. Has that kind of greasy look. Oh my God, you guys, I think I have a deep. So this one doesn't have the sound box, but the two that I have, this one does. But it's so weird because, oh man, do I have like some weird rare one? Should I not cover them in blood? They both have the sound box on the ones I got used. But they're, they're, yeah, dude, because I think it's one of each sister. I don't think I got, because they came in their box and everything. That is wild. Did you, like, grow the button overnight? Like, I seriously was freaking out because I think it was around midnight or 1 a.m. And I was really, really tired. And I was like, since when did both of you have a sound box? But yeah, they're not both supposed to have one. That is interesting. So it's the one on the right. That is so weird. So here they are. Um... Their socks stay up a little bit better here. They have the shoes. The dress is really well made. The flower's coming off on the other one. So, the white flower. My brain is, I'm kind of losing my mind here. So, you know, there's Velcro if you want to take it out. I know I'm rushing through this, but my mind is kind of like confused by the ones that I have. Oops. Ones that I have both have the sound box. So you could take the Velcro off to get to the button. I think it's easier to just lift the dress because like the Velcro gets stuck in their hair. So there are three modes. There's try me, off, and on. So they're on the try me mode. And honestly, I don't know what the difference is between try me and on. So off obviously turns it off. Let's see on, because clearly these dolls are different than the ones I have. Yeah, so I have no idea what the difference is between try me and on, but yeah, I'm so confused. Because they look, so the one that I'm holding on the right is the one that I have, the used one. So they look the same. I don't see any difference. I don't know, guys. I don't know why the ones I had both had the sound box. I think the Vespers made them grow it. I don't know. But yeah, here they are. I think they're super, super cute. Um, let's see other limbs, how easily they move. So the one with the sound box, she keeps toppling over, not this one, this is the new one, but the limbs move really easily, and I think it has to do with the sound box being installed. This one is harder to move, and she's the one without the sound box, so it kind of takes a little bit of force. Whereas the ones that I have, again, I wasn't sure if it's because they're used or because they both have sound boxes, but they're really wobbly. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to end this video and figure out why the hell the ones I have both have the sound box. Because I knew they weren't supposed to. I mean, even if you look here, there's a hole for only one of the dolls. So which one am I going to cover in blood? <laughs> And the, the flower is just kind of glued on. So the ones that I have, it keeps sliding. But if you hold it, you can push it up. Yeah, so I'm very confused. Very, very confused. 
So to display, I just kind of follow the window box with the one with the sound box is the one on the right. And here are the others. All together. I'm so confused right now. See, they don't stand up as easily. Whatever. I want to end this video. Bye.